Hey guys, Aaron here. If you're having trouble patching your ROMs to work on your Super Nintendo Mini, and hopefully this guide I've put together is going to help you out, this guide should get you up and running in no time with ROM hacks, and on top of that, this guide also works for other system ROMs, such as the NES Classic. Firstly, download Lunar IPS. I put a link down below in the description under the video. Just download this and save it somewhere on your computer. We're going to be using Lunar IPS to patch your ROMs here. It's probably best to keep everything together here, so I've created a folder, I've got my ROMs, I've got my patches, and I've got Lunar IPS here. We need to extract Lunar IPS now, so you see the lips102.zip folder, right mouse click that and extract tool. Once it's extracted, you should see it just sitting in the folder here. We'll come back to that in a bit though. Let's move over to the ROM folder now. As you can see, I've already placed some ROMs here, Super Mario World and Super Metroid. Now I also have two versions of each, unheaded and headed ROMs. If you had tried to use ROM hacks on your Super Nintendo Mini before, then you might have just got a black screen or have the system crash. When patching ROMs, you need to make sure you've got the correct version of the ROM. The majority of the time, the patch requires an unheaded ROM, but occasionally it might require headed. To know the difference, the headed ROMs usually have an odd file size. For example, Super Mario World here is 513 kilobyte, whilst the unheaded ROM is 512 kilobyte. And again, with Super Metroid, you can notice the difference here. Alternatively, if you're having trouble doing it that way, I put a link to Tush, which is down below in the video description. Now this just allows you to select your ROMs and it will tell you if it's headed or unheaded. You can also add the header, you can remove the header, so if you're having trouble finding the specific ROM, you can use this program to fix it. Okay, so we've got our ROMs ready, so let's head over to romhacking.net. So this website has all your ROM hacks, it even has translations on there if you want to do that. So I'm going to click ROM hacks. So as you can see, there's a list of the latest ROM hacks, I guess. Moving over to the platform, moving down to Super Nintendo. Again, clicking go, we'll just select the Super Nintendo ROM patches. But we can go one step further, so over on the left it says search hack title, just going to pop in Mario, and as you can see there's a bunch of Mario hacks, Mario Kart, Mario World, things like that. But I'm going to look for something a bit more specific, which is Return to Dinosaur Land. That's the patch I want to download, so if I click it here, here we can download it, but over on the left hand side it does have patching information. So it's telling me that I need a headed ROM for this. So this goes back to when I was talking about headed and unheaded ROMs. So let's click download. And I'm just going to yeah click that. Over on the right hand side, just copy the bit I'm copying. So you need to do a copy and paste it into the password box. And click I am human. And then it should allow you to save it to your computer. So that's the Super Mario World patch dealt with, so I'm going to click back over on the left, ROM hacks, and I know specifically what I want to search for here, so I'm going to type in Hyper Metroid, and it should be the top link down the bottom here, perfect, let's click that. Now as you can see, on the left hand side, this one says no header, or unheaded ROM, so uh, that's good to go, so I'm going to click the download. Now, here it's just downloaded first time, but you might still get that password box appear, so just repeat as I did before there. So I've got both of my ROM patches in here, so I'm going to have to extract them now. So like before, just right mouse click the file, extract tool, click extract again, and it's extracted the IPS patch file. I'm just going to repeat that for Dinosaur Land as well. To keep things nice and clean now, I'm just going to remove these zip files. I don't need them anymore, I've already extracted them, so just get rid of those real quick. And again, I'm going to go into each of the folders and just cut and paste the patch file. Let's go back out, paste it into the patches, and I'm just going to repeat this for the Hyper Metroid as well, just to keep everything a, a bit more in order, I guess. So now we can start patching our ROM, so I'm just going to load up Lunar IPS, which is in the LIPS102 folder. As I mentioned before, you do need to get the correct ROM, so double check on that. So as I said, Hyper Metroid, no header or unheaded ROM. So click Apply IPS Patch, choose our patch file, Hyper Metroid. It's going to come straight back up asking for the ROM, so I'm going to go and choose that. Choose the unheaded ROM. 
and then you will get this message popping up saying that it has been successfully patched. Let's move on to the other patch now. So return to dinosaur land. As you can see on the left here, it's a header ROM. So I'm going to click apply IPS, choose the dinosaur land patch and choose the headed ROM for Super Mario World. And once I've done that, you're going to get that message up saying it's been successfully patched. So I'm going to close down Lunar IPS now. I'm done with that. So I'm going to go back to the ROM folder. So as you can see, the file sizes have drastically changed it. So you know these ROMs have been patched now. So with that all done, we can start adding the games back to the Super Nintendo Mini via Hatchy 2. So like you would normally do, just add your ROMs. Not going to go too much into detail here. I'm assuming you've already done this before. So you can also change the name. So I'm just going to add on Return to Dinosaur Land here. I'm going to do the same with the Super Metroid. So this one is now called Hyper Metroid. And if you want to give these a bit of custom artwork as well, right mouse click both of them and click Download Box Art. So I'm hoping it's going to come across a couple. Done. And then you can just synchronize these back with your Super Nintendo Mini. And that is pretty much it. Once it's finished synchronizing, just hook it back up to your TV. And hopefully you're going to be greeted with box art here. So now when you try and load your game up, it shouldn't crash. It shouldn't just leave you with a black screen. It should just work fine. In any case, I think I'm going to leave the video here. I would definitely love to hear some of your comments. Was this video guide useful to you? Did you have any issues at all? If you did find the video helpful, it would be great if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel as well, it would be great if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.